Yep. Now we're recording. Yep. All right. The idea is we're going to cut a normal drink can into a squirrel cage shape. We've emptied the can. Um, so we'll be cutting it into slots and we'll be putting a, a, a bar through the centre of it as central as, as central as we can. And then when we put it inside the magnetic, rotator magnetic field of a three phase stator, I'm hoping it will induce voltage, which will cause a current flow. The current flow will have magnetism and it will follow the rotator magnetic field of it. Okay, um, we've got to this point here, we've got the general squirrel cage shape that we were looking for. Uh, the mission now is to find the centre of the can and punch a hole through there. <laughs> Take the centre rivet of the can out of here and we can put a spindle through the middle. Okay. So we've reproduced a copy of a squirrel cage by sawing up a sprite can. We've got it as dynamically balanced as we possibly could by putting holes in it with a nail and a screwdriver. And now we're going to put it in a three-phase rotating magnetic field. And turn the power on. <laughs> Truly a thing of beauty. The same can't be said about Electra. Filming? Yes, he's filming. Okay, running. Okay, so the bonus issue after the credits is a rather tatty looking um, universal motor. So the, the components inside there are still squirrel cage. Uh, well, not squirrel cage, um, armature, but my expectation is that it will be start it running. Fantastic. Yep. Extra bonus bonus issue. Can. Of chomp chomp tuna. <laughs> chomp chomp tuna. Of a bonus, was it? That was. <laughs> it's a shame the camera wasn't on it, wasn't it, the first time? Yeah, it was on it that time. That's going to go further. Maybe block the other side where it's coming out. That's why we don't use cans as rotors. <laughs> Put a book on the other side of something, sir. So. Hey. Bad enough, she's getting a bit warm in there, eh? Mm.